What's up guys, my name is Phil. Welcome back to Miranda Detailing. In today's video, we're working on this beautiful little 2015 Lexus IS. Now it's gonna be a full detail, but the vehicle really isn't bad shape, so we don't need to go overboard with extracting and all of that stuff. We're gonna wash it, we're gonna decon it, we're gonna protect it. We're gonna use a couple of new products that we've been playing around with from a couple of different companies. And then the interior is going to be cleaned up completely, vacuumed, wiped down. And we're also going to clean and condition the leather with some new products and also make sure that the carpets are looking nice and fresh. So guys, I hope you're enjoying videos like this. If you are, consider subscribing and clicking that bell. That way you get notifications each time these videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. And if you're interested in any of the tools or the products that we use, check out the description down below. I'll have links in there to almost all the things that we use. And if you don't see something down there that we use in the video, just let me know and I'll be sure to send you a link if I can. And those links will go to either Amazon or Car Supplies Warehouse. Mm. All right guys, let's get started. Our process begins with a thorough rinse and APC rinse. This is the pre-wash phase that will remove the majority of the heavy grime and dirt particles on the paint, wheels, and tires. You can use any APC or degreaser you want, diluted either 10 to 1 or 4 to 1 for heavy cleaning. I have some options linked in the description below, so check them out. We also pre-treat the door jams with APC and flush them out with the pressure washer. When using any cleaner on the paint, make sure that the paintwork is rinsed first and only let the cleaner dwell on the paint for a minute or less. If working in direct sun and heat, speed this process up and don't allow any of the chemical to dry on the paint. After allowing the APC to dwell, rinse off and you'll notice the grime and dirt is drastically reduced on the paint, wheels and tires. After this pre-wash phase, we foam down the vehicle and move on to contact washing. Now you'll notice that we also use a clay pad from Meguiar's along with our wash mitt to mechanically decon the paint. This again speeds up the process of removing botted contaminants on the paint. This little pad comes with the new Meguiar's clay kit and it works really well. We still prefer the larger clay mitt to cover larger surfaces, but this still works really well. Now we use a separate wash mitt and clay bar to decon the bottom portions since they are still the dirtiest parts on the vehicle. We also use a soft brush to agitate all the emblems and seams where the wash mitt couldn't reach. Now we did want to test out a new product from the last coat called Iron Off. Of course, it's an iron remover that attacks ferrous particles, loosening them and dissolving them. This can be used on both the wheels and paintwork. Now 
This vehicle, however, had little to no iron particles, so it really wasn't needed. So we like to not waste product and reserve our using tar and iron removers for vehicles that truly need it. Now moving on to the wheels. We're using these new super plush and soft wheel brushes and mitts from Microfiber Madness. For delicate wheels, they are incredible. Check out the links below to Car Supplies Warehouse. After final rinsing, we pull the vehicle in to continue drying. We make sure to blow dry the engine and apply a nice water-based dressing. We're using Meguiar's Hyper Dressing diluted 2 to 1, which produces a nice finish on all the rubber and plastic pieces. So we towel dry and blow dry the rest of the paint and dress all of the exterior plastics first. We're using Stoner's Trim Shine on the cowl since it works so well at getting into those tight areas. Don't worry about the overspray on the paint or the glass, it wipes right off. We will get to polishing and protecting the paint later. Now let's move on to the interior.
So now that we've cleaned the leather with Melco Leather Cleaner, we're gonna use their leather coat. So this is basically their leather coating, and this is going to protect the leather for a long time. Months, six months maybe, up to a year, depending on usage. But this stuff is so easy to apply. It's a cream formula, and it applies just, as you see, with an applicator. Apply it evenly, and then you can remove any residual with a nice clean microfiber cloth. Again, a very easy product to use. It smells really nice. The usual Melco leather conditioning uh, scent. It's really nice smelling stuff. I like it. So the leather is looking beautiful now, nice and clean. It feels really nice to the touch with that coating on it. So it's an excellent upgrade for a customer who wants a leather coating, leather protection. There's all sorts of different ones in the market. This is just a very easy one to apply that produces great results. Yeah, it feels really nice. And again, no high glossy sheen to it. Just a nice satin, almost matte finish. So minor imperfections like this, some little water spotting. Let's see if we can reduce it. Oh, wow. It's tiny though, it's almost gone. Yeah, it really reduced it a lot. Yeah. So, not bad at all. Good. That looks great. All right, now that the paint is prepped, it's super slick, nice and glossy, and it's ready for an application of the hybrid ceramic wax. Oh, I can't get enough of this. It smells so good. So I'm gonna take a blue microfiber applicator, just get a little bit on the surface here, and simply apply it. You can go in circles, you can go in straight motions. It does not matter much because you're not going to swirl the paint just by going in circular motions. That just doesn't make sense. You swirl the paint by not washing it properly, not drying it properly, polishing it or wiping it with dirty pads and towels. Those things are going to 
swirl your vehicle. But with a nice clean microfiber applicator, you're not gonna have any issues with that. So just make sure that you have even coverage and you can see it go on, it goes on nice and smooth. And we'll just let it sit on there for about 10, 15 minutes or so. All right guys, the Lexus is done, completed, and looking incredible. So we used a variety of products on this, as you saw. If you're interested in those products, check out the links down below. If you don't see a link down below, I may have just forgotten it. So just message me if you see something that you want, and I'll try to find links to those, and those will go to either Amazon or Car Supplies Warehouse. So let's show you around the vehicle. It is looking so good. So guys, I am gonna have a video where we used the AM Details line products, which are right there. So we used AM Glaze, we used their ceramic wax, and then we used their wheel wax, and of course the Sonax glass cleaner. And I wanted to play around with those products again just because the results they give are incredible. And here at our garage shop, we're able to pull it in. I do have my air conditioner going and my fan to kind of keep things cool in here because it is hot and humid out, and it did begin to rain today, so I'm glad I was able to bring the vehicle in. Wheels and tires looking incredible. We used AM wheel wax and then AM dress on the tires. Unfortunately, it's got a little bit of curb rash there, but ignore that. The rest of the vehicle looks incredible. Paint is super glossy and slick and protected, looking incredible. I really like this color. I guess I would call it like a, a gunmetal gray or a steel blue gray. Blue steel gray? And the grill on this thing is a monster. 
Look at that. Whoa. Yeah, we had to make sure to wax each of those things. It wasn't too difficult. So I basically just went right over those little grill pieces with the wax applicator. And again, you have to get into all these little intricate areas in here to make them look really nice. But the results speak for themselves. So glossy. We're able to remove a few of the little etchings that were in the paint, just here and there. This is not a paint enhancement or anything like that. This is just a full detail inside and out. And inside, not too bad at all. We steamed the mats. We dry shampooed the carpets because that's all they really needed. But we made sure to protect all of the plastic and leather components in here really well. So for some of the seats, we use the Meguiar's leather detailer. This stuff is really nice. I enjoyed using it, smells really good. It can clean and it also leaves behind protection. So it's a nice product. It was actually able to remove some light little scuffs that were here and then it kind of dressed all the plastic so that it looks really nice. And you can use it on all of the door sills, the plastic sills here also. And then with some of the other seats, we use the Melco Leather Cleaner and the Melco Leather Coat. Now, I actually use the leather coat up there. I use the Meguiar's Leather Detailer on the passenger seat. So, just using a couple of different products to showcase them. Both of them were very easy to use. The Melco Leather Coat is a really nice product to use to protect your leather, looking nice and fresh and clean. I really like the look of the black carpets with the nice cream leather. Beautiful. I love that look. This Lexus IS is ready to go. Oh, and for the trim here, we use Stoner's Trim Shine as usual. I really enjoy using that product just because it gets into all the nooks and crannies, into the little grill pieces very, very easily. And yes, it might leave a little bit of overspray in the glass and the paint, but you do that first before you do any protection and before you clean the glass. So it's a no brainer. Just wipe it off the paint, wipe it off the glass. Not a big deal. So guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like it, share it with others who may enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. That way you get notifications each time these videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. Once again, any of the products or tools I'll have linked down below. I hope you guys have a great week. We'll see you next time. Take care. Ooh, let's try that again.